Hello students, today we are going to learn about an English stationery company, Barol. Let us know this company in a much better way. Barol was a British company that manufactured pencils, pens and other stationery items based in Lichfield, England. Established in 1969, its handwriting pen used in many British schools is now more than 25 years old. Barol is now a brand of imported products with UK manufacturing close since Barol's purchase by Stanford LP, a division of the Newell companies now known as the Newell Rubbermaid. In 1995, the famous Barol handwriting pen is used by over thousands of children in UK schools. The lightweight design, easy grip position and abrasive fiber tip of the Barol handwriting pen make it perfect for young children learning to write as well as older children developing their individual writing style. Art educational products also make up a large part of the Barol portfolio. Products ranging from colored pencils, pens and paints to pastels and specialist products for textiles and glass have been developed especially for schools. They are used and loved by art teachers all over the UK. The Eagle Pencil Company was originally founded by Daniel Beryl Zimmer, a Bavarian immigrant, by opening a pencil shop on John Stain in New York City and a manufacturing operation at Yonkers, New York in the USA. The Easterbrook part of the organization was created in 1856 by a Cornish Quaker, Richard Easterbrook. He was a stationer by trade and had seen in Britain the move from cut quill pens to the steel nibs with their consequent advantages. He was also a wise businessman with an eye for opportunity and saw that there was no steel nib manufacturer in the USA, a vast expanding potential market and therefore he recruited five craftsmen from the John Michelin factory in Newhall Street, Birmingham and set up operations in the town of Camden, New Jersey, USA in 1947. The company brought out John Mitchell and the American Easterbrook Company acquired Hazel Pens, the total organization becoming the Easterbrook Pen Company. In 1905, the Venus de Milo statue in the Laurier was adopted as the company's trademark. This required a certain amount of behind-the-scenes maneuvering as the French government had always forbidden the photographing and commercial use of Michelangelo's work of art. November 2, 1995 was the date that the Newell Company acquired all of the shares in the Barol Corporation with Barol becoming a member of the Sanford Division. Barol's product lines include art and crafts, paints, acrylic, pastels, oils, pastels, inks, crayons, adhesives, mediums, writing instruments, pencils, coloring pencils, coloring pens, markers, sharpeners. As a marketer of consumer and commercial products that touch the lives of millions of people around the world daily, New Real Rubbermaid is uniquely positioned to help create a more sustainable world. The company emphasizes on responsible environmental stewardship, enables consumers to fulfill their aspirations to live and work more sustainably. Its commitment to high levels of environmental performance in design, manufacturing, marketing and distribution of its products conserves resources and reduces its environmental footprint to make meaningful strides and exceed mere incremental environmental gains require both product and process innovation. Today, Newell Roberts made is designing products and optimizing business processes that minimize inputs and impacts on the environment. Newell Rubbermaid vision is to be an eco-efficient company where excellence is environmental stewardship and sustainable innovation builds brands that matter and creates value for its shareholders, consumers and customers. Through a collaborative and cross-functional focus on more sustainable products and operations, they are doing their part to help create a healthier world 
they strive to be an eco-efficient company through maintaining their commitments to meet or exceed all environmental requirements and standards applicable to operations globally, reducing operational impacts on the environment, articulating their shared objectives, assigning clear roles and responsibilities, and appropriately resourcing their environmental sustainability initiatives. They track their performance and hold teams accountable for results. Striving to integrate environmental sustainability across the entire organization, including in their business processes, product design and day-to-day -day decision making, they use life cycle analysis tools to quantify the environmental impact of their products throughout all the phases of their development, use and disposition at the end of usable life engaging a wide array of stakeholders to foster collaboration and develop mutually beneficial initiatives and solutions. These stakeholders include consumers, customers, suppliers, employees, shareholders and the communities in which company operates, empowering employees through education and training to apply environmental sustainability principles in their daily work the company encourages sharing of best practices and provides employees with resources for advancing their environmental sustainability agenda through activities including annual summits and a sustainability focused online curriculum. So students, we got to know about the various aspects of Berol. We went through the company's history to its present scenario. Hope the information about the company was useful. Have a good day.